Okay, a-holes. It's dark, not because it's a lights out scene, but because we actually forgot to start filming before it got dark out. And Ari stopped flipping off the camera. I don't know how you do that with hooves. Anyway, so he's going to talk about his day on Minecraft yesterday and today. And I'm going to interrupt him intermittently with bullshit from OK Stupid. Because, okay, actually I'm going to start out with OK Stupid. Is that okay with you, sweetie? Sure. Okay. So, this guy, this one guy, I'll, I'll leave his name out of it because it's probably going on my blog anyway. But... <laughs> um, his profile was pretentious and stupid. Well, it wasn't as pretentious as the hipsters, but it was like basically this guy who's obviously just looking to get laid. <laughs> so um, I turned on my speak right and Loki started babbling into it <laughs> and uh, transcribed it. And so I hit enter and wrote, oops, sorry, speak right had a stroke. And I was going to ask, what kind of fun, exciting things do you do? Because part of the profile was something like, message me if you like fun, exciting things. He says, I like to cuddle, make out, go hiking. And that doesn't sound fun or exciting to me. So I responded with, oh, you know, add to the collection of dollies in my basement. They're all bigger than me, but they'll play tea and cookies if I position them just right. The trick is to get them in the right basic pose before rigor mortis sets in. Thanks to my dollies. I've never had to spend thousands of dollars on... What do they call the male companions again? Is it still real, doll? Well, anyway, I don't have to spend exorbitant amounts of money on batteries either, and that's nice, too. Also, I am an eternal camper. <laughs> anyway, we're waiting to see whether or not I've scared this guy off or whether he's going to keep responding to me. But anyway, let's, let's go with your Minecraft adventures, hon. Okay, so... Oh, wait, he just responded! He said, want to come over? Uh. <laughs> that is not the answer I was expecting, folks. Um, I only go over to strangers' houses when it's light out. But I do go to Strangler's houses at any time. No, I don't. Because I am a Strangler. I don't have a house. Making a joke. My joke is better. Stranglers. Um, okay. So anyway, go on. So anyway, um, speaking of Stranglers, there's people <laughs> I really wanted to strangle who are playing on the server today. Absolute fucking idiots. <laughs> First of all, the enemy team uh, today, they weren't really that good, but neither was my team. And at this point, I was kind of just compensating for my entire team in certain scenarios. So 50% of the time in maps, my team had no defense. There was nobody there protecting the monument. Like, nobody. Everybody else was either, a either AFK, dead, on fire, in the process of being on fire, or trying to go on a long go kill streak but nobody was defending the monument so this first map I was playing on this fucking builder this asshole fucking builder he literally so there's like these access tunnels in this wall area behind our monument because that's just the way the map is on, on this particular area so this fucking builder okay he pops up out of the mo out of the fucking walls he's coming out coming out of the fucking woodwork and he's just like doo -doo 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 -doo. And he's gonna, like, destroy, destroy my monument, you know. So I just see his little ass, and I'm coming over to fucking beat the shit out of him. And then he just covers up the blocks over the little hole that he came out of and, like, sneaks away like it never even fucking happened. And then, like, he comes back again and does the same goddamn thing. And, like, every time he thinks he's gonna, like, break a block, he just, like, he gets seen by somebody. Or, like, a long woman shoots at him or something. This little asshole, he's just like, doo -doo -doo, you know. I got a message. Sorry. And eventually I chase him into the tunnels. He blocks up the passage with like a bunch of fucking end stone, which would take me a million years to mine. And then what ends up happening is, is he's like running away from me, you know, and he basically traps himself on accident. And then while he's trying to escape, um... Look. Sorry. He's asking me if I want coffee. He just wrote coffee, question mark. 
Anyway, go on. Anyway, so while that was happening, a buddy of mine decided that he's going to tunnel in and kill the guy. So then we're all doing that, and the guy logs off before we can actually reach him. So then I'm like, doo, 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 you know, waiting for the game to fucking end. And, like, I'm just, like, doing my own thing, right? Just waiting for, like, the enemy to show up. And a couple enemies show up, and I kill them. You know, whatever. And there's, like, a fucking archer who comes over and starts shooting at people. But everybody just kills them. Nobody cares. And then, like, people on my team are kicking ass. Because they're, like, pretty much everybody on my team except for, like, this one guy who's camping. This other dude who just was there out of pure luck. And me. And a bunch of AFK people. We're just, like... Everybody else is on the offense, okay, and they're just, like, on the co- constant offense. They're, like, the the surgical strike team that never quit. And they're just, like, beating the enemy's ass, and there's, there's like, this brutal kill streak going on, and people are getting burnt. And it's like, Rrr! and everybody's like, Rrr! and then meanwhile, I'm just, like, sort of, you know, and then the game ends just as that stupid asshole decides, hey! I'm going to come back online so I can tunnel into the base again. And he ju- he just barely makes it. And he's just about to break a gold block when my back's turned and the game ends. And it's just like, fuck. That was hilarious. Then the next map, um, I spent most of my time stockpiling TNT. Which did not amount to anything because what ended up happening was I, just, I stockpiled like 13 TNT blocks, right? And, like, at one point I was, like, super fucking scared because this asshole came over and killed me just after I had gotten done stocking up my TNT. But he was just so stupid and inept he didn't realize that I was actually there to hide TNT. So, anyway, I got, like, 13 TNT blocks and I went over to the enemy's base. We're getting our asses kicked. Like, abs- we're just getting fucking whooped, okay? So there's, like, these, there's, like, two castles in this map, right? There's the red castle and the blue castle. Well, our castle is basically blown to smithereens because our, our we have pretty much no defenses because there's like a couple of mages defending the monument and even though mages are pretty good in like miniature long range combat scenarios they're really not good against high numbers of enemies coming at rapid paces unless you have high numbers of mages and even then they're really not that good at all so basically what ended up happening is we had the, the typical demolition team that was coming over and blowing shit up, and there was nothing anybody could do about it because there was really not very much security. Because either A, people were getting uh, quick scoped by longbowmen left and right, or B, people were being mages and being trapmen and not really defending anything, or C, my team generally sucked, and it was a combination of that. Meanwhile, there was like, you know, these fucking longbowmen camping up on the sky bridge or whatever, and there's like this big giant sky bridge battle going on where. It was just, like, random people just falling from the sky and dying on random occasions. So it was literally raining men. It's raining men! It's just, it was just hilarious. Like, I'm, I'm like, dodging and weaving around in, like, this fire-burned, blast-pit-infested wasteland of... Ow! Ow, Gin. Don't bite me. No biteies, Gin. raining men, right? And I'm running through, like, this this fucking giant blast pit area with, like, fire everywhere, and there's, like, mages shooting lightning bolts and fireballs at me, and I'm like, yeah! And there's, like, I Met Your Mother playing in the background, and I'm like, dun, 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 You know, I'm, like, running as fast as I can, and there's, like, a fucking footman chasing me, and there's a, there's a fucking that I'm kissing right here and there's like a fucking um a mercenary after me and he's like he's not fucking around like he's gotten eight kills so he's got a level eight sword which can pretty much one shot me and he's just like an absolute asshole you know and there's like a long woman trying to line up a shot on me which he he literally could have at any point if he was any good at being a long woman which he really wasn't I killed him later on but, anyway, I make it to the fucking base, the enemy's base, you know. The enemy's base is, like, in okay condition, you know. 
But just as I make it, there's like this squad of fucking random assholes who show up and they're like, hey, you ain't getting over to our base. So then like I perform a, an L maneuver, which is basically where the enemy comes up to you and you duck behind a pillar and then you make them make a sort of L shape and you put fire at the other end of it so oh, they man, get set on fire. That would be about L. No, it's, it's basically a trick where you make an enemy move into fire. A lot of people try to do it where basically they run away and they make the enemy chase them into fire or they try to set the enemy on fire. Like, by plate this, you know. But the point is that you set the enemy on fire. That's the important part. This asshole's like sort of loafing around now, kind of <laughs> wandering around randomly while he's on fire. And there's like a couple other dudes coming after me, and I'm just like, fuck. Fuck my life. You know? And there's like this other guy who just like doesn't care about the fire at all, and he just runs through the fire like a badass. And he's like, Arr! he's like gunning for me, and I'm like, oh shit. You know, I'm getting close to the castle, and like right there at the wall, this guy's like, Arr! I'm like, oh shit. You know? And like, I'm, I start placing the TNT blocks, you know, and he like, he like knocks, he knocks away one of the TNT blocks because you can do that. And like he's like, Rah! and like he comes over to hit me, and he like takes out half of my health and then dies from the fire damage. <laughs> and the other guy like his fire finally goes away, and he's like catching up to me. And I'm just like, fuck this. So then I just like start placing TNT blocks everywhere as fast as I can. This guy's like coming up to me, but as soon as I light that one TNT block, he realizes it was a dumb idea. Soon the enemy's entire back wall blows up, and it's like, holy shit, because it's like, I'm, I'm on top of this fucking pillar thing, right, made of TNT that's blowing up, so I like, I die in like two seconds, and like, some asshole who was trying to kill me dies too, and like, the long woman who was up on top of the wall camping dies, because the wall that he was on top of blows up with TNT, and then he falls up into a, fall, falls down into a giant explosive wasteland of TNT. And then the enemy's base is, is literally just this giant crater at the bottom of it. And, like, people just fall into the crater and die from fall damage every time they spawn. So then it's just like, well, fuck for the enemy team. And we're getting our asses kicked because there's no defenses. And it's just like a couple of stupid fucking mages, you know. But, more importantly, um, we won in the end, I think. No, we lost. We got our asses kicked. Never mind. I, I, I got that mixed up. But then there's the next map, which is the chess map. And in the chess map, I actually had a lot of fun. See, um, previously in the chess map, the reason why we were having so much problems was because people would put things that shouldn't be in there. Like sky bridges. Oh, God, sky bridges. So there's like four or five different sky bridges in this chest. So it's enough to make it so that there isn't really a very much of a problem that occurs if a sky bridge is taken by the enemy for a team, okay? Or for our team in this instance, okay? So there's like these dudes who are basically building sky bridges over the monument to try and get to it. And then there's these dudes who are destroying those sky bridges, which is good, right? And then there's these people who are like making these weird pillar things. And there was this idiot who, for some stupid fucking reason, decided to make a sky bridge directly out from our monument, which I destroyed immediately. But the sky bridge battle was basically a sort of thing that was happening, and it's sort of always omnipresently happening in any sort of um, game like that. But today is kind of a bit lesser than that. Today the focus is more on cavalry. So, the most important thing about the class, the knight class, is the fact that it's actually specialized for cavalry, for, you know, knights. Knight, you know, of course, knights ride horses as they do, right? So knights have slowness too, but when they're riding on horses, they're basically just badass dudes in diamond armor with diamond weapons, and they kick ass because they're on horses. So I was basically a guy, diamond guy on a diamond horse going around killing people everywhere. And there was, like, this huge kill streak I was going on. I was, like, on like, a 10 kill streak. And every once in a while, like, die or some long going would shoot me off my horse and then I'd get gang raped by a bunch of footmen. Or maybe some asshole would drop a TNT block off the sky bridge in an accident and I'd get blown up. But I generally kicked ass.
So anyway, um, there was this guy who was a recurring problem for me. So the, the problem with him was not so much that he was good at PvP. Actually, he really kind of sucked. It was more just the fact that it was a weapon. Um, so the thing about... Um, So, foot, uh, Beastmasters. Beastmasters, he was a Beastmaster. Beast, Beastmasters have uh, diamond axes with knockback too. They don't really have very good armor. They're not immune to fall damage. And really their specialty is supposed to be the wolves that they have. But usually his wolves were glitched. And if they were there, they really weren't very much good. They really, they really, really the Beastmasters really only effective in, in close scenarios where there's not very much space for the enemy to move and move the island forces. But really the problem for me was the fact that he had knocked back two on his weapon, which knocked back me and my horse, because I was riding on my horse and he usually hit my horse. And when I wasn't on my horse, he usually hit me. And really all, all his strategy was was just knock me back far enough so that I fall off a cliff and die. Which worked half the time. The other half of the time he was knocking me back and I was charging at him and hitting him. And usually he would kill my horse and then I'd have to kill him. And I'd barely survive out of it because his knockback effect would break my my combat chain. Combat chain is basically where I do a bunch of hit streaks on him and kill him. And hit streaks are basically... You get it, okay? Point is that I was going to kick his ass and I would have kicked his ass if we didn't have a knockback 2 weapon. And this asshole is really only good against people because of the fact that he had a knockback 2 weapon. If he didn't have one, he would have died instantly. And he actually did later on when he switched to a footman class, and I absolutely whooped his ass. But more on that later. So this guy was a recurring problem. And sometimes what ended up happening is he'd kill my horse and I'd kill him, and I'd be at like half health, you know. And then like a gang of dudes on horses, on like zombie horses and skeleton horses would show up, and they'd be like, you know, doing the whole western ring around me and trying to fuck with me, or like a longbowman would shoot me and I'd be down to like half a heart, and then like a random mage on a horse would like set himself and me on fire and kill me and himself in the process. Yeah. Mages don't belong on horses, that's all. They really don't. I actually tried to um, ride around on a horse as a mage, and I basically blew myself up and died. But that was in a different game. In this game I was doing it as a knight and I was doing it right. So every once in a while, after a 5 or 10 kill streak, I'd die. I'd respawn, go back down to the horses and do the same thing. I basically prevented my base from getting blown up, me and a couple other people, because we were running around as cavalry control, making sure that no stupid trapman got to the base. Well, the base still got blown up anyway, but that was more because of the sky bridge, which was pretty much impossible to defend properly. And you know how sky bridges are, they suck. And people would like race across the sky bridge with a block of TNT and like, Rah! you know, suicide bomber. It's just actually a recurring thing as well. As some guy would come over to your base, light TNT, and go like, Adi Akbar, gotta go to the and blow himself up. And then we like this giant blast pit where he was. This happened a lot, of course. But uh, what also more often happened is the trapman would come over and he'd be like, Yeah, I'm gonna kick your ass, man! And he'd like place the TNT blocks and then somebody would, would destroy the TNT boxes as he placed them and then they'd kill him. Which happened more often than the whole blow up thing. But sometimes there'd be like a team of trapmen and what would end up happening is they'd all sort of sort of split up and then like regroup. So what, what would happen is the enemy would come over and try to kill them. They'd split up into three different groups. There might be like enough enemies to chase them all. Maybe they, maybe they, one, one enemy might chase one of them. But they'd all just sort of like run, kind of ignorant of the enemy. And then they'd all just sort of regroup to this one area and blow up the base. That's like six blocks of TNT right there, which, if you really think about it, then in certain standards isn't really that much. But in this particular game, it's a lot. So there'd be like this giant hole where they left them because they did this teamwork thing and they distracted the enemy properly. And nobody had to take the fall. Whereas my team, basically, what would happen is you'd go behind somebody else, and they'd take the fall and get their asses kicked by the enemy, and then you could go ahead of them and blow, blow shit up. See, even though we should have gotten 
different random teams in the game. What ended up happening is, is that because of the fact that I was always sort of in the opposition scenario, my team always had a different strategy than the enemies, even though it was sort of like a... There, there's a pattern, essentially. So, first of all, um, in the dragon map, I think it was like Dragon Serbinus or something like that. It was like a dragon map. So, in the dragon map, um, I barely had anybody with me on my team. It was just me and a couple other assholes. And there was a stupid guy who was like, Hey! How are you going to defend the monument? What are you going to do? And I was like, dude, fuck off. And like, I had to land on this show. And like, he's like, no, you don't. And I'm like, yeah, I do. Like, you, you should switch to mage. And I'm like, I'm not going to switch to mage. I'm going to stay as knight because I kick ass as knight. And he's like, you can do spies, dude. And I'm like, I'll just cover the basic glass. So basically, I'm building up this fucking base. Well, this asshole is like talking to me about a whole bunch of shit. And I'm just like, dude, I don't have time for this. I need to build this base. And he's like, you're so rude. Yeah. I'm like, uh, you're the one being rude. You're telling me how to play the game. Don't backseat game me, bro. That's what I'm fucking doing, bro. If you, if you can't handle how I'm going to defend the base, I'm going to fucking play me. And what ended up happening is he did defend the base. And he got his ass kicked. Yes, but I noticed you have to. <laughs> It's gonna get ripped, and I was like, dude, our monument's gonna be fucking fine. I know what I'm doing. So, really, it wasn't anything that had to do with it, really wouldn't have mattered, no matter how I constructed the base, constructed the base. But what ended up happening is these two annoying ass builders showed up right at the beginning of the game, they're like right there, right? And they both work together as a team to destroy the monument. They barely succeed in like destroying a couple blocks, but. biggest problem wasn't so much that the enemy had <coughs> aggressive forces as much as they had really sneaky ones. I need some water. There it is. I should probably move my head out of the way. Ah! My leg. Yeah, it's so cold. So the enemy's forces weren't particularly strong in combat as they were, well, cunning. And they weren't cunning in the sort of like tactical way that I usually am cunning in this game. Their cunning was more to be signified in the, the sense that they would sneak up on us and sabotage the base or some shit. Like, what ended up happening is oftentimes they would tunnel underneath the monument and then like try to get in, get up to it. Like that happened like four or five times while I was defending. It was like a spy would show up. There was nothing you could fucking do about it because of how the monument was designed. Was it like, it was nearly impossible to get to the top of the monument and you couldn't really fucking figure out where the fuck the spy was. So you just like loafing around trying to, trying to find the damn spy while he was destroying blocks. Other, other thing that would happen is, is that a spy would show up and you know that he's coming, and then like he'd come on in, the, in like this little under, underground access tunnel, and he'd come out, and he'd, he'd like turn invisible just as you fucking hit him, and then he'd like be like, doo -doo -doo -doo, and he'd come up to the monument, and be like, spy, 
you know. And then, like, this guy would come up and he'd just go crazy with the flint and steel and, like, start setting everything on fire. And, like, that poor spy would burn to death. Or, they'd be, like, the, the, two, the two builder guys, they basically spent the entire game as builders trying to, trying to take over, trying to destroy the monument. And they basically did this team thing where they built up over my wall and then came down and, and started destroying the monument. So then my, my team came over and kicked their asses and killed them pretty quickly. But that was a great example of teamwork. It's like, they were like, yeah, let's do this, you know? Right at the start of the game and then the spy showed up. I think they were all, all three of them were working together, like really working together. They had, they had these different sort of attacks at, at, at different times like this. You know, sometimes there'd be a fall guy where one guy would take the fall and the other guy would, you know, kick ass and destroy a block or two. But other times it was just like, Stop. Oh. Okay.